Hello again, everyone, and welcome to the final edition of our review of Hard Knocks. This is episode five, the last episode for the year, and uh, I'm your host, Randy Snow, from the world of football.com. Across the table from me, as always, is my son, Adam. Well, not the last Hard Knocks of the year. We still have the Cardinals in season coming, yeah. but we'll see how we feel about that. I don't know. If I'll be I don't think we'll be doing one. reviews for that, <laughs> no. but. Uh, no. uh, I'll be curious to at least check the first episode out and see if it yeah. hooks me better than the Colts one did because yeah. that didn't do it for me. Yeah, but in regards to this final episode, uh, let me just say that it w- it was hard to watch sometimes, even though we knew what happened to a lot of these players ahead of time because you know we follow the team, so we knew who got cut, who got to the practice squad ahead of time. Uh, it was still hard to watch, you know, some of the interviews, you know, and these guys going in knowing that this is it, they're going to be cut, and they're talking to Dan Campbell and. Uh, the, the GM there, Brad, Brad Holmes. Brad Holmes. Yep. So, you know, it's, it was hard to watch because, you know, you got to know these guys over the past four weeks and, and you, you saw them play well, you saw them play not so well, but, you know, it was just, it was hard. This is the hardest episode of every Hard Knock right, season yeah. to get through. is the last one because you see the cuts and then you kind of see a little bit of the aftermath. It depends on the season, what they kind of decide to do. Right. Uh, but this year, so my big complaint, I guess, is that, I feel like they really shied away from, like they just kind of showed the guys in the room when they got cut. A lot of times they really build up that drama in some of the previous seasons. So I think that that lacked there. I don't know if they sacrificed some of that to, you know, put in Eminem to put in uh, some of the other stuff that kind of squeezed into this episode, which mm-hmm. I mean, like Amon Ra St. Brown going to that Van Gogh museum right. while cool. Uh, I don't really think that added anything to yeah. the season other than showing that he's a cultured, right. uh, diverse dude. It's like, okay, yeah, we get it. But they didn't really focus on Amon Ra terribly much this season. Right. They did a couple points, but right. not enough to where I think that we needed to see him go to the Van Gogh Museum. But, well, hey, whatever. It was still a cool place. Right, yeah. No, they, they really didn't concentrate on any of the people that they knew were going to be starters. You know, who they totally gonna... shied away from Hutchinson now. Yeah, like, of that... course he was going to make the team. That was never in question. But right. this episode barely had any Hutchinson in it. That so. first episode when he did the Michael Jackson dance, that was that was mainly it for the whole season for him. A few other little comments, you know, on the field or right. whatever. But yeah, he, they didn't follow him around too much. So yeah, so this was kind of a little bit different, I thought, uh, from other years. But uh, a couple of things that that I took away from this is uh, they followed two players. To their new teams after this, and I don't remember ever seeing that before in a Hard Knocks episode. Now, you've think, seen more than I have. I think in the Cleveland Brown season, which was your first Hard Knocks, I mm-hmm. believe, they definitely showed one of the players going to Carolina, okay. or at least I, like I Skyping with that. Carolina about going there. Right. Uh, but actually going to the practice facility of another team, yeah. let alone two teams. Yeah. Yeah, that uh, might be a little more unusual, but I was curious about that that they were at least that was, dedicated that enough was a nice to, touch. to follow them where they were going yeah that was a nice touch as they started with uh, wide receiver Khalil Pimp- Pimpleton you know they, they showed him getting cut and saying you know hey you know keep your head up you're going to be fine and then they show him actually working out for the New York Giants at their practice facility and signing him to a cro- contract they they right. they offered him a cro- contract and he signed it right there yeah. in, in front of the guy said well, we've already talked to your agent your agent's good with this so welcome to the team so that was interesting and then the other one was quarterback David Blau, who they wanted to re-sign to the practice squad, but he didn't make it through waivers. Minnesota picked him up, right. and they actually went to Minnesota and showed him practicing with the team and talked to him about right. you know the new team and all that. So uh, that was just something that I hadn't really seen before. Yeah. And if they did, if they did, I just didn't pick up maybe, on it. They, maybe they'd done that before we kind of started checking in. Like I said, my first year was 2017, yours right. was 2018. Right. So maybe they've done it before, but it was a little weird uh, seeing it, but... I liked it. I wasn't surprised. I mean, I wasn't like upset about it. I was yeah. Like, okay. Here we go. That's cool. No, no, I thought it was a nice, a nice feature to at least follow a couple, no. couple guys that you got invested in, and now all of a sudden you say, "Oh, good, he got picked up by another team. Too bad he didn't get, you know, back, back to our practice squad." But it's nice that he's got, yeah. getting a chance with somebody else. I mean, I was happy as a Lions fan. I thought they did a good job showing the team that they did what they needed to to kind of show that this is a team maybe on the rise. You know, typical what you're supposed to do with the hard knocks. You're supposed to show, like, hey. This team could go somewhere, but obviously we don't know. Usually it doesn't go that well right. for a Hard Knocks team. But right. I've heard more and more people having more faith in the Lions. And I think being on Hard Knocks has kind of translated into the Lions selling out their first game this week. So I think there's a correlation there. And they finally showed Ron Woods. I mean, we had seen him. Rod Wood. Rod Wood. I'm sorry, Rod Wood. 
Uh, we had seen him like on the practice field, but they actually, you know, uh, showed him talking to Dan Campbell uh, in his office, and he got a lot more screen time this time than than he had been uh, than we'd seen in the past. And it was interesting because one of the comments he made was, you know, Rodrigo's jersey number is our second most requested jersey number that fans want to buy, and you know, probably behind Hutchinson. He, they, he did say behind ninety seven. Yeah, and we know that Chase Lucas, the rookie defensive back out of Arizona State, he made the team. So it was it was just interesting to see, you know, who who got cut, who who stayed. Even though we knew a lot of it, there were things that yeah. we that we if didn't you're know. If you're a Lions fan and you were watching this, you knew who was going to get cut. We still you learned some things. Coming. We still learned some things from this episode. Yeah. Uh, another episode where we saw no Sheila Ford Hamp at so all. She didn't appear in the entire ne- series. Not in any of the episodes. Not even, you know, a distant shot of her watching practice or anything like that. I don't know if that was intentional or not. Uh, but I don't know. But to me, I think another big letdown from Hard Knocks was they had so much good stuff, they had to cut out, you know, because there was like a bit with the uh, the coaches watching the camera in the corner and the camera mm. moving. And I saw that clip. Yeah. I was like, okay, where was that? They showed it for like a second. So there's just so much they cut out. They said this was one of the best years they had for just a bunch of extra footage. Yeah. So uh, I'd be curious to see what else, you know, was on the cutting room floor because they, they seem to have got a lot of gold. I, I saw one video today where uh, – uh, Rodrigo and um, and Hutchinson are uh, talking about the movie. That was right. another one where yeah they they cut that short you know that clip really they short. Had, like, and the I was first like, ten seconds of that conversation yeah. on the show, but the rest of it was on uh, yeah so social media. And and they never sell this stuff like on a you can't get this as a box set DVD mm-hmm. kind of thing, which I kind of wish they would, but whatever. And then even after the season's done, when the next Hard Knocks comes out, the previous season is nowhere to be found on HBO. So mm-hmm. I don't know what happened. You can't go back and find the Cowboys mm-hmm. one to rewatch. Wow. It might end up on the YouTube channel for NFL films, but yeah. uh, it's, I don't know. And the last thing I had on my list was that Eminem visited. I know you mentioned that uh, at the very beginning, but I thought that was interesting that he came there and all the players wanted their picture taken with him. And then I guess his mom, who has a spaghetti he, restaurant. It's his restaurant that he named after his mom's spaghetti. Mom's spaghetti, yeah. So, that's a, yeah, that's been a big thing the last year or two in Detroit. And so uh, he brought lunch for everybody. Yeah, and, I've never had it. Um, I've heard both good and bad stuff about it so i don't know but hey little self-promotion yeah on hard knocks you know yeah and he's a lions fan so that helps sure yeah from detroit and that's that was all i had and where do you rank this among your hard knocks seasons you've watched um it's right up there with the cleveland browns one you think the browns your first one's still your favorite one um Maybe, but you know, this was our team, so you know, I gotta say that this one was the best. Because I think I think your first hard knocks is actually probably your favorite hard knocks, and I speak from experience because my favorite is probably still the Tampa Bay Buccaneers from 2017. Mm. I don't know why that was the first time I watched it, and I was enthralled by it. This might either beat it just slightly, or it might be just right underneath. It. It's been so long mm. since I've seen it, but I just remember having that, you know, wow, these I think these Buccaneers could actually do something this year, and I, mm. I think it was just really compelling. Uh, getting into that show and that kind of following that team that year, and they didn't do very well that year. But, uh, yeah, I so I think your first – and there's a lot of Lions fans. This is their first hard knock. So this is going to be their gold standard, I think, right. following if they keep watching hard right. knocks. No, it was it was good. Uh, we learned some things about the team and the players and the coaches, so I'm looking really forward to this season. Yeah, I'm, I am too. If, if anything, this has helped just – ease up not ease up but just kind of start wrenching up that excitement for the season i'm ready to go and it's here this week so the last episode of, first episode of hard knocks means the preseason is about to start and the last one means the regular season is about to yep. start so let's do it yep and now that the uh, hard knocks is done for the year it's definitely time for the detroit lions to go to work all right, we're going to ignore everything that just happened on that side of the table. And I'm going to tell you guys, we have a weekly podcast you can follow, which is this week in the world of football on all your uh, podcasting platforms of choice. And then also, we just dropped our picks video this week. That's right, every week, every Wednesday. So kind of replacing this video every Wednesday will be our picks videos Wednesdays where we're going to pick every single NFL game where I try to finally – beat randy after three seasons of being just decimated in our picks um what else you got over there before we go uh make sure you uh hit the like button like our videos uh, like our uh, our youtube page subscribe to the page uh, hit the bell notification and leave us a comment on our youtube page there you go and we have a website or sorry he's got a website what is that website sir www.theworldoffootball.com
I'm getting him I'm getting him used to doing the YouTube stuff here. <laughs> so all right. Uh I got nothing else to say. Why don't you nope. send us out? Thanks for watching. Um look for our uh, weekly podcast this week in the world of football every Tuesday. And uh, wow, okay. I we're treading ground. I literally just did that. YouTube one oh one, don't retread. You already did it. Let's move on. You're finishing the video out. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next week. <laughs>